What's up everybody, this is Mike Williams, GetSelfDriven.com. I'm um, shooting this quick video, just got back from Richmond, Virginia, spent the weekend down there. Uh, it was pretty exciting, my uh, sister-in-law got engaged, so that was pretty uh, cool. Nobody expected that, so congratulations. Uh, but most importantly, I wanted to get back to New York today specifically for the, motiv for the daily motivational call. Uh, myself and one of my partners, uh, J.R. Wells, we do a motivational call uh, Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for just anybody who wants an extra boost in their day of motivation. Because, you know, like Zig Ziglar says, uh, motivation is like bathing. You need to do it daily. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to get here uh, purposely for that call. Uh, so this morning I woke up at 3.30 this morning uh, in Richmond, Virginia. And I got my family up. You know, I wanted to sleep definitely for like another two, three hours. But, you know, I was like, yo, I got to get up. I must leave around this time in order for me to make it back to New York. Be able to, you know, get unwind a little bit and then be able to get right onto the call. So I got up because I had that purpose of, of you know, getting on the road. And I got my family together. And then we stepped outside of the hotel. And mind you, I had the hotel until at least, until at least like noon, right? So I could have stayed, but I didn't. Uh, we walked outside and it was raining and did an another stumbling block because I was like, man, you know what? We can go back in and just hang out, you know, wait till this rain goes down. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to press forward because I need to get back to New York for this call specifically. I'm sorry if I'm squinting. Uh, there might be a little bit of sun in my face. Let's do that. All right, cool. That's a little better. Uh, so we packed the car. I went and got the car. We packed the car up. And, you know, for somebody who wears glasses, you know, driving in the rain is not the, you know, your, your most favorite thing in the world to do. So we got on the road anyway, uh, moved forward. You know, I got a Toyota Camry. You know, it's a nice Toyota Camry, but it's not a big body car. You know what I'm saying? So I got these trucks to my left, trucks to my right. They're throwing water all on my car, all on the windshield. My windshield wipers aren't moving fast enough. I can't see nothing. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just pressing forward. You know what I mean? I'm moving. I, it doesn't matter. I'm like, you know what? I'm out of here. And, you know, once the rain, you know, died down just a little bit, a little bit, uh, and then we just run into traffic. We run into some of that morning traffic. It wasn't that bad, but it was still morning traffic. It was slowing us down. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, I just can't catch a break. You know, I'm trying to get out of here. I left early so I can get back in time. So I, I kept pressing forward, kept moving because I knew I had to get back for this call. Definitely because it's mon Monday, Monday afternoon, Monday morning. People need motivation after the weekend to get back to work and doing whatever they need. So, uh, we kept pressing forward, you know, the traffic, you know, died down a little bit, and then, you know, we stopped for about 17 minutes to, you know, get some uh, gas, some food, and stuff like that. Uh, so, with the traffic, the weather, it being dark, it just wasn't a very simplistic trip, right? But I just kept moving. I kept moving forward and doing whatever, I, whatever, whatever it was I had to do, and then there was construction. Construction slowed us down for a little but we said, you know what, we got to keep it moving. We, we turned up the music and we had our pretzels in the car. And we said, we're going to keep pressing forward. And that's what we did. So eventually, the closer I got to my destination, the day brightened up. It started to, you know, the sun came up. Uh, the rain just went away. The traffic eased up. And I was pretty much on cruise control from there all the way home. Uh, and I got home an hour before the call. Um, with everything that we went through to get here, I got here an hour before the call. And it felt good because I was prepared. I can get myself prepared, mentally prepared for the call. And that was the exciting thing. But to think about that, you know, life is the same exact way. The road to success is always under construction. No matter what, there's always going to be something that's trying to slow you down, that's trying to stop you, that's trying to re, you know, detour you, or whatever the case may be. There's something always there. But I want you to think of these three things, okay? The next time, you know, you face a tough situation, you know it's raining out there, you know it's construction, or you know something is before you, you already know ahead of time, I want you to do it anyway, right? The first thing I want you to know is your destination. When you know your destination, nothing's going to stop you from getting there. Right When you don't know where you're going, like my man J.R. Wells says, he says any road can take you there when you don't know where you're going. And when you know exactly where you're going, right, it's a lot easier to navigate and get there. Number two, I want you to find somebody who's been where you are. I meant not been where you are. 
I want you to find someone that's uh, been where you want to be, right? I want you to find a model, a coach, somebody that's got the results that you want because they're going to be able to point you in the right direction, right? They're going to be able to take out the map and say, hey, you're here. You need to get here. This is what you need to do, right? See, I had my GPS this morning, so they told me exactly where I needed to be at all times, right? So you need a coach of some sort, a model to do the exact same thing. And number three, I just want you to do it. Right? I don't care what the weather report says. Uh, I don't care what people are telling you. I don't care what circumstances you're facing. If you know your destination, I want you to do it anyway. Go out there, make things happen. And like my mentor Jermaine Steele says, I made no excuses about why I couldn't get it done today. Right? When you can't make any excuses about why you can't get it done today, that's it. What more can you ask of yourself? You did it. So always understand that the road to success is always under construction. There's always going to be something in your way, and you just got to keep pressing forward, my friend. This is Mike Williams, GetSelfDriven.com. If you're looking to work closer with me on my team, uh, I can show you how to pretty much make income on demand from the Internet. We can do it together. Just click the link below, GetSelfDriven.com, and it'll take you over to my website. website. Submit your email, and you'll be able to get in contact with me. You'll be over my email list to ask me any questions, comments, concerns, and all that cool stuff. I share things about training, blogging, training, internet marketing, training, and whatever is internet online. I train it about it. I do it for free right into my email, right into my email newsletter. So just click the link below. Go ahead and submit your email. Get started. I'll talk to you soon. This is Mike Williams. Peace.